Hello, my name is Anastas and I'm a product engineer for nonlinear resistors at Vichy. Today I would like to show you an LTSPI simulation of an inrush current limiting application in a rectifier circuit with a PTC thermistor. This is a study case of a power supply circuit with four different PTC configurations. This PTC will act as such current limiters, preventing the breakdown of the diode bridge. The core of the circuit is this part, with a three-phase AC source at 50 Hz frequency and a voltage of 566 volt amplitude. The total voltage must be rectified by the diode bridge and then smoothed by this desilling capacitor. The load of the circuit is omitted for this particular simulation. We need to determine how many PTCs will be needed in order to make sure that the capacity is fully charged before any of the PTCs switches. To this end, we can apply the following formula. The number of PTC is obtained by dividing the energy stored into the capacitance by the thermal energy needed to bring the PTC temperature from the maximal ambient temperature to the switch temperature. Giving all these parameters their particular values, we reach a number between 3 and 4, thus normally 4 PTCs are needed. Looking back at our circuit, we are going to test several PTC configurations, one with two PTCs in parallel, we can already predict that this won't be enough, a second configuration with three PTCs in parallel, and then a combination with four PTCs in parallel, and as a last combination, a configuration of two parallel branches of two PTCs in series each. The simulation is about to begin now. We will record the voltage rising on the capacitor in the four different configurations and also the surge current in each case. We will also show one voltage of the three-phase AC source. We see directly that the surge current is maximal for the four PTCs in parallel. That's a bit normal as we divide the PTC resistance by four. The surge current is then lower for three PTCs in parallel and then for two PTCs. We see also that the lowest surge current is reached for the special configuration of the two branches of two PTCs in series. After two seconds of simulation, the final result is reached. The yellow curve and the red curve, respectively corresponding to four and three PTCs in parallel, show a full charging of the capacitor. That isn't the case for the two PTCs in parallel, as the voltage saturates at 400 volts. And the white curve, which simulates the configuration of the two parallel branches of two PTCs in series shows also a full charging of the capacitor. And as this last case is also given the lowest surge current, this combination is obviously the best solution. If you have any question regarding this simulation or any other simulation involving thermistors, please feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching.